Thanks for purchasing Troll King. This video will guide you through the Troll King installation process. The Troll King kit comes with a Troll King pedal with power cord, push rod assembly, and U-bolt clamp. Now let's get started. It's best to have your boat elevated off the ground, such as on a trailer or on the bed of a truck. With your trolling motor mounted to the bow of your boat, turn the motor 180 degrees facing you. This will allow for easy installation outside of your boat. Next, mount the provided stainless steel U-bolt clamp to the shaft of the trolling motor using the lock washers and hex nuts provided. Hand tighten. It's important to mount the U-bolt clamp above the trolling motor's depth adjustment collar. Then, install the aluminum angle bracket with the ball joint in the upward position using the nylon lock nuts. Again, hand tighten. Turn the clamp on the shaft to where the angle bracket is at the 2 o'clock position when looking straight down on the head of the trolling motor. When in place, tighten the hex nuts on the clamp using a half inch wrench. Be sure to tighten with an equal amount of pressure and thread length on both studs. Then tighten the lock nuts on the angle bracket. Now turn the motor 180 degrees back into its proper operating position. Next, remove the wing nuts on the terminal blocks holding the coiled length of wire on the Troll King pedal. Uncoil the power cord and temporarily move the wires out of place towards the battery compartment. At this point, position yourself inside the boat. Place the pedal in a comfortable position in relation to your seat. The Troll King foot pedal is meant to be mounted on the floor so it won't move. Simply mark the holes needed to be drilled. Also, mark where the base goes on the floor of the boat. Remove the base from the boat and drill your holes. After drilling, place the pedal back onto the floor and mark the holes. Remove the base once more and pre-drill the starter holes for the screws, making certain not to entirely drill through the floor of your boat. Now you're ready to permanently mount the pedal base to the floor. Don't over tighten. The push rod assembly is now ready to be connected. Loosen the set screws in the shaft collars so that the internal rods slide freely. 
Connect one end of the rod to the angle bracket on the trolling motor using the quick disconnect ball joint assembly. Then connect the rod to the pedal post using the quick disconnect on that end. Adjust the height of the pedal post so that the push rod assembly is as close to horizontal as possible with the pedal being positioned at approximately 22 degrees or the halfway point when depressed. Now, making certain that the trolling motor head is straight, adjust the tube of the push rods, tighten both set screws on the shaft collars with the provided hex allen wrench. It's better to have more rod coming out of the trolling motor side of the tube and less rod coming out of the post side of the tube. With your trolling motor in the off position, connect the red positive lead from your trolling motor to the red terminal block on the pedal assembly base. Repeat this process with the black negative lead and tighten both wing nuts. Moving to the battery compartment, connect the red wire to the positive side of your battery and the black wire to the negative side of your battery. Make certain that all connections are tight before proceeding. You can now check your connections by putting the toggle switch on the side of the pedal in the back or off position. Turn your trolling motor handle to the desired speed. By depressing the momentary switch on the Troll King pedal, the motor will turn on and off. By putting the toggle switch in the forward or on position, the motor now has the constant speed for those long trips across the water. When properly adjusted, it's possible to turn the motor all the way to the left, right, or even turn it all the way around to operate the boat in reverse. The Troll King can be used on most small boats with the motor being mounted on the bow. If you'd prefer not to use screws to mount the base, we offer a stick-on mushroom lock product that works just like Velcro, but is much more of an industrial application. First, make certain to clean the surface. Place the pedal base in the boat and mark its position. Next, turn the pedal base upside down. Peel the plastic backing off of one side of the mushroom lock and place the adhesive side down on the bottom of the pedal. Do this with all four pieces of the mushroom lock and apply to the bottom of the pedal base. Now, peel the plastic backing from the four pieces facing you and place the pedal where you had made your previous marks. Apply as much pressure by hand as possible to get a good adhesion on all four places. If your current trolling motor is already equipped with a power plug for the front of your boat, remove it by cutting the wires. Strip the wires and re-crimp into the butt connectors that are supplied with the Troll King unit. Note that the length of the outer wire loom has been pushed back over the supplied wires. After you make your connections, there's still plenty of wire loom to stretch up over the connectors to the plug. Now that your pedal is correctly positioned and your power cords properly connected, simply connect the push rod assembly to the angle bracket on the trolling motor shaft as shown earlier in the video. Congratulations, your Troll King is now properly installed and you're ready to keep both hands on the reel.